Hey, greetings, Tabrinos. How you doing? Well, you know, it's occurred to me that maybe I'm not giving some of these people with a different point of view a fair shake. And I thought it's only fair that I should, you know, maybe listen to their videos and react to it and try to understand their point of view. Um, granted, a lot of these people, uh, yeah, I don't really buy some of the stuff they're saying, I, uh, especially creationists. I think it's all a bunch of hooey. But, uh, <laughs> you know, in an effort to understand them, I will give this man a listen uh, by the name of uh, Jungle Jargon. I'll give him a listen and we'll see what happens. Uh, but, you know, in the spirit of the fact that it's unfair to have a battle of wits with an unarmed man, I intend to, in fact, drink myself stupid in an effort to understand these people. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Here we go. The name of said video, Scientists Discriminate Against Creationists. Well, that's hey, an open hello, point Jim. of view from the beginning. This is going to be an open letter to the scientific community. I'm a big concern mm -hmm. about creation. Let's hear your concerns. There's a lot of uh, discrimination in the scientific community. There's too much discrimination in the world. I'm with you. Would be scientists Working already. That are very logical and rational in saying that we have a maker. Okay. Okay. One of the biggest problems that scientists have. Let's hear them out. With the account of creation is the the time factor. Mm-hmm. I got a big problem as with it too. As far as uh, creationists are concerned. A maker that can do anything can do anything. But wait a minute, you make up a guy that can do anything, to, he can uh, do anything? We have to go by the information we have. Evidence. We have to go by the evidence that we have. We can't Damn have <laughs> It's working already. Uh, I'm understanding this guy. Uh, tell a story. We have to have evidence for what we believe. I'll be damned. Okay. The answer all along. There seems to be a disconnect. Bringing the people together. What science says and what the Bible says. Mm hmm. I've noticed that. Now, this could be easily remedied. By making up shit? By the fact that all matter is relative. Okay. And uh, subject to change anyway. It's all a fabrication. Yeah. Time is a fabrication. Space is a okay, everything's relative, but I'm not sure I know what you mean by a fabrication. A fabrication and so we really can't put a date or time on it. And meaning but we don't know for sure? it to be very old. Yes, it does. Hot damn. And for the sake of uh, argument, it does, that appearance of age does not even interfere with what the Bible says. Oh, really? Why? Okay. Well, that tends to support the poor the support that the point of view that a lot of uh, creationists are lying about what it says about the aging universe in the Bible. I'm with you. This okay, is working. Right God damn. In that phrase, that means that the, uni the entire universe is already made. The entire earth is already made. Uh-huh. It means everything is already there. Okay, and on the first day, it says that darkness covered the surface of the earth. What are you just going to read from the Bible? Darkness covered the surface of you the earth. You got some kind of argument here, or what? And we know that the earth is and always was a water planet. What? How do we know that? As far as that goes, because you can't have water coming from anywhere. We have to go with the evidence. Oh, we're just going to throw that in. I get, throw the shit on the wall, see planet. if it sticks, ignore, don't Therefore, offer facts, just move on. It always was <coughs> a water planet. Oh, excuse me. Because you can't have water coming from nowhere. Okay, so in the first day... Be because you can't have water coming from nowhere, it proves the Earth was always a water planet. Separating the water from the water, but it does say that darkness 
covered the surface of the earth. Dude, facts. So we don't want to just hear a was keeping life sermon from, from the Bible. Fox sakes. Going deep down to the surface of the earth. So on the first day, on the first day of Christmas, my tree brought me to me. So, uh, for all intents and purposes, the sun, the stars, the moon, the earth, everything already existed. Everything on the first day already existed on the first day. Okay, yeah. I so don't time know. is irrelevant at that point. The first day was get to some facts here, you dink. With the fact. That there was light. Thought you were going to stick to evidence. You're just reading so crap from the Bible here. Mark <laughs> a day. The only way to Give me some mark facts. a day is, if, is with light and the rotation of the earth marking one day, one entire day. Uh -huh. In the evening and the morning. Uh -huh. It's one day. Uh -huh. We knew that part already. Okay. Now, this is all for. <sighs> Obviously, not stupid enough yet. Right? I mean, I don't there, understand where this Bible is going. The Bible does not actually say that on the fourth day the sun was made. I thought you were going to talk about scientists discriminating the against children or the stars somehow. for that matter. Or something. It actually says the stars also. Okay, what does it say? It says the lights were made on the fourth Let day. Let there be lights. So, for argument's sake, the sun, the moon, the stars, they already existed from the very first day of creation when it says God created yeah. the heavens and the earth. Uh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the light was not seen until the first day, and the source of the lights, it says the lights were made. It doesn't say the sun was made. It doesn't say the moon was made. It says the lights were made. The lights appeared on the fourth day. Yeah. They, the source of the light was seen on the fourth day. Uh -huh. So, so what, right three there, days for the light to get there? We can see there is no contradiction between observable science and what the Bible says. For argument's sake, uh -huh. there is no uh, disagreement. There is no there's no disagreement between the stupid thing I babbled because before and the first day, stupid thing I just babbled. What am I missing here? There was, uh, the atmosphere was translucent, not transparent, translucent. so that light marked the first day, and the atmosphere became transparent on the fourth day. Uh, so uh, the the lights, no, I'm getting it. Literally lights. It's cloudy. Seen on the fourth day. Uh, the it's cloudy for the first day. three days. And then seen the sound came through. Earth on the fourth day because the whole description yeah. is from the perspective of being and that proves scientists are discriminating well, against children how on the first day come on covered. man give me Darkness more here was removed on the first day and that's what marked the first day and the, day the first day was really boring the heavens and the earth were already made in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then and the earth was without form and darkness covered the surface of the earth. So there is no discrepancy. The earth was formless and void and bloody, bloody, blah. Bloody, blah. I'm trying to understand here. Give me some facts. Give me something to work with here. And as far as we're concerned as believers, God could have made everything on the first day. Sure, why not? If you can make up, you know, made it in six days, seven days, you can make up, you made it in one day. What freaking difference? It is what it is. Make up what but you want. You haven't proved anything can yet. Only go by or I haven't drank enough beer or something. And the evidence that we have does not disagree with what the Bible says. And the evidence that I'm making up doesn't disagree with blah, 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 blah. That covering was removed so that light was seen on the earth and yeah, yeah, yeah. the sources I could buy it was cloudy lights, for three days let's move literally on literally the lights and the stars also the lights were seen on the fourth day so there is no discrepancy but there is a discrepancy with with what is called science eh how and with the belief that Come life forms Come on. Spontaneously cause themselves to accidentally Come on. occur. 
spontaneously, accidentally. That is a discrepancy with science. I'm going to need more. I'm, I'm going to need backup. So all you astrophysicists and biologists are believing in telling children and everyone that doesn't know any better a fantasy. I can there is read no stuff from the Bible so that to make proves scientists are lying. The only thing that exists, the only physical existence is that of objects, matter, elements. These yeah. are a fabrication. These are uh, no. the only no. thing that exists. Yes. And they are not responsible for doing any programming of any kind. That's right. They're not. So you are the ones with the fantasy. The Bible damn, is not again. the one with the fantasy. The Bible what? says that they were created. Uh, no. Yeah. So? science backs that up. No. Because objects no, no, cannot no, no. make themselves work. They cannot make themselves function. And they can't make themselves... Things can't make themselves... Program. So... That proves God had to exist because otherwise Matter, the things wouldn't exist. Cannot program themselves. They can't. Elements can't make themselves. Almost sounds as if we're coming down to the uh, you know uh, what was there first? Uh, matter so and energy, or a God to create it, or uh, you know who can prove either one? Nobody. It is Except we have some scientific evidence for the fact that matter exists. The fantasy. Because objects have never been observed. Making themselves programmable. Huh? Programmable? And objects have never been observed programming themselves. Are we talking computers making now? Any working mechanisms of any kind. Because I know computers. That they program. It's Don't mess with me. I know computers. It doesn't exist. Mac, PC. It's a fantasy. iOS, Android, OS. It is not based I on with any real thing. We can only go by the evidence that we have. It's not working. This guy still sounds programmed. stupid. Programmed. Elements inside of us prove Back up. that our maker is not made of matter because matter cannot program itself. Um, uh, so, you people need to get that straight and you need to start teaching real, observable, factual science. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Science based on facts. Repeatability, uh, experimentation uh, that support the hypothesis that leads to a working theory uh, your, supported your by science, facts. Your fantasy disagrees with reality. No, no, no. no. And science does not agree with your fantasy that you are teaching. You can't call yourself an astrophysicist. You can't call yourself a biologist. When I you can't get drunk fast fantasy. enough to understand this guy. No physical thing in nature is able to make you what you are. Get that straight. Except for maybe my mom and dad. Start teaching what the facts are. I'm tired of this nonsense and I'm not tired of this discrimination that you are imposing <laughs> on Christians, not allowing them to become scientists. That, that's right. You're not allowed because you're, you're a Christian. Because uh, yeah, you're not allowed to be you a scientist because you're a Christian. Fantasies. We are the ones minute, that are telling does the truth that. that we have a maker. We have observable evidence of a maker. Of course, they do uh, disallow you the whole public you, office because you're you not Christian. You have to prove it before you t start telling people that objects made them. What? But what are we talking about now? If you think objects made you, you have to prove it before you can start saying it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's over already? I can't drink fast enough to understand these people. I don't think it's ever going to work. Oh well. It was worth a try. Canadian atheist. Peace. A long life to you.